Hey everybody, it's Brett and today I am super excited to go over this brand new 2024 Jeep Wrangler Rubicon X in Earl clear coat. This is stock number 24J187. I am here at Summit Automotive in Fond du Lac, Wisconsin, your new and used Jeep and specifically Jeep Wrangler headquarters. And I'm gonna go all the way around in this video. I'm gonna show you all the options on this particular Jeep Wrangler and just go over everything. Let me know what you like about the vehicle. Let me know what you don't like about the vehicle. Let me know what you like about the video. Let me know what you like, don't like about the video and leave those comments in the comments below. Uh, starting off, this is a 3.6 liter V6 Pentastar engine, 285 horsepower, 260 foot pounds of torque. It's paired up with the eight speed automatic transmission. It's gonna get you 19 miles per gallon, highway 16 city for an average of 17 miles per gallon. Some of the options on this particular Jeep are the 8,000 pound worn winch, which is right here, the satin black grill, and it also has the doors off mirror kit, which is a pretty cool item to have. And then it has the cold air intake by Mopar. I will show that at the end of the video. Uh, starting off at the front here though, the Rubicon X package gives you these steel bumpers. These ends are removable for better uh, tire clearance. LED light group is standard on the Rubicon X package. So you get the LED, LED headlamps, fog lamps, running lights, and fender lights there. I'm gonna turn all those on at the end of the video so you can see just how bright they are. A couple little Easter eggs, you get these seven slots on the grill here. You also get seven slots on that air duct for these seven continents that Jeep has been on. Earl clear coat, kind of a seafoam green color. Uh, really good looking color, I like it on the Wranglers. So this one has the Rubicon X package which gives you the 35 inch tire and wheel group standard painted and polished aluminum wheels and BF Goodrich all-terrain TA KO2 tires. These are LT31570 R17s and they've got an all-terrain tread pattern to them. So the um, 35 inch tire and wheel group gives you an inch bigger sway bar length there as well as an inch bigger on the shocks. So it does have a factory lift kit on it basically. You also get these fender extensions on here and they have to be in line with the tires for state road regulations. You get the Rubicon decal on the hood there. You also get a trail rated badge on the passenger side now. They started that in 2024 because they got rid of the antenna. They put the antenna now in the windshield, which are all Corning Gorilla Glass. You get the sandals and the shroud there still. You also get the Jeep climbing up the side of the windshield. This one has the T50 on the doors to take those doors off. You need the Torx 50 bit. We did a demo on how to take those doors off. If you want to check that out, that's in the upper right hand part of the screen and linked in the description below. You also get the rock rail standard with the Rubicon X package. You get sport brakes or heavy duty brakes. And you can tell they're heavy duty in the back here with those slots on there. Four wheel disc, of course. And we're gonna check out the original window sticker at the end of the video. If you don't wanna to wait to the end of the video, it is linked in the description below, a link to the original window sticker. So check that out to get the pricing on this one. Backup parking sensors, you get the red tow hooks, towing package with the receiver hitch, four pin and seven pin wiring. And now this one cannot tow the 5,000 pounds because it does have the 456 gears, which comes with the um, Rubicon X package with the 350 or with the uh, 35 inch tire and wheel group. You get the JL badge back here with the two door, four door wheelbase and overall length as well as water fording. You get one, two, three, four, five, six, seven slots on that back door. Another little Easter egg. The Rubicon X package also gives you the Alpine premium sound system with the subwoofer. This is your case for your front hard top pieces. This here is a license plate holder for the front bumper. And in here is your doors off mirror kit. If you want to see what that is about, I did a demo on how to install these on your Wrangler. If you want to check that out, that's in the upper right hand part of the screen. You get a storage area under here. And that is your controller for the winch up front, door hinge, roof and windshield bolt holders. Speaking of those bolts, you get four on each side three on the bottom, two on the top, 
has the insulated hardtop. You get two quick disconnects here to get that hardtop off. I did a demo on how to take your hardtop off your Jeep Wrangler JL. If you want to check that out, that video is in the upper right-hand part of the screen as well and linked in the description below. Everything will be linked in the description below. You get those fender extensions on the back here. You also get the extensions on the back taillights. On the left here, we have Louie. He's a bulldog. And they gotta have those taillights back that extra inch on the right, we got Ralph. Because this tire is wider, so these taillights have to be a certain distance to the back of the vehicle, and that's why they have to add those extensions in there. And you also get the uh, rear tire carrier reinforcement right there. You also get an extension on that backup camera there too. Coming around the driver's side, you got the black fuel door there. This one does have blind spot monitoring, heated mirrors. Take a quick look at the back seats. Nothing too special in here. It does have the black leather seats, latch child safety system. These seats fold down nice and flat, which is great for extra storage. If you got to haul something, these headrests now stay down for better visibility if nobody's riding back here. You get two USBs, two USB-Cs, and 115 volt, 150 watt plug-in back here. New for 2024 as well is these are these side curtain airbags, which are located right there. That is new for 2024. And because they put those airbags in, they had to redesign the speakers and the map lights back here. Also get child safety locks in the back doors. Let's take a look at the front seats, all the options up there. 2024 is the first year that you can get the power seats in the Wrangler. You get power driver and passenger. There's the original window sticker. We're gonna check that out in just a minute here. You get the Rubicon stitched into the backrest. It's really a, a firm leather on here. The red stitching on the seats, the lumbar on both sides. Factory floor mats up here, new for 2024. You get the Wrangler and the Gladiator backed up to each other. A little plastic piece there, auto headlamps. You get this kind of Gore-Tex finish dash trim, the red with the Rubicon there, red stitching, power windows, power locks. You also get the red stitching on the steering wheel. Once again, that leather, really nice soft touch. You get the Gorilla on the windshield there for the Corning Gorilla glass. Bluetooth, information center controls on the left, cruise controls adaptive cruise controls on the right, audio controls in the back of the steering wheel, and it does have the seven inch LCD display. You get the Wrangler animation at the beginning there, the Rubicon animation as well. Seven inch LCD display, you get a digital speedometer, compass, all that good stuff. We've gone over this stuff a million times on these videos. Uh, this one does have the Uconnect 5 12.3 inch touchscreen radio. It does have the factory navigation system. And it's supposed to be five times faster than the Uconnect 4 system. You get AM, FM, and Sirius XM radio capabilities, as well as AUGS, USB, and Alexa hookups. Here are all your different apps on here, including Comfort, Nav, Phone. Basically, these are just links to other parts of the radio. Android Auto, Apple CarPlay, off-road pages, everything right there. Let's check out those cameras real quick. You do get the rearview mirror camera, which is very crystal clear. And they have the front trail cam, which is great. Those grid lines are dynamic, so you can kind of see where your tires are going to be going, which is great if you're off-roading on the trail. You don't want to hit a log or a rock or damage your vehicle by missing a rock. Um, and then you get your system, other, and then the off-road pages here. You get if your sway bar is connected or disconnected. Front axle locked or unlocked. Same thing with the rear axle transfer case. Steering angle as I turn the steering wheel, you can see those angles change and the tires actually turn up top. So that's really cool. Latitude, longitude, and altitude accessory gauges, pitch and roll, and then your front camera once again. So a lot of great stuff you can do with that radio. They changed the layout just a little bit up top here to accommodate for that wide radio. They used to have vents on either side, just like those vents over there. Uh, but now they're underneath the radio, so that is something new for 2024 as well. Down here are your more tactile volume tune and climate controls, push button for or push button start, your four-wheel drives right there. Heated seats, heated steering wheel, start stop, stability control, speed select crawl control, power windows. You get the media center with the USB, USB-C, and AUX jack. Here is it what makes a Rubicon a Rubicon. You get your axles, blocking axles, your front and rear, or just the rear. 
off-road plus mode and sway bar disconnect four auxiliary upfit switches part of the tow package and then the eight speed automatic transmission in your four x four shifter right there you get the flipper key with the remote start and the keyless entry on there nice bulky key fob there there's also a spot to store those when you're driving so the other thing about the rubicon x package it does have the insulated hard top so that helps keep heat in in the winter it also kind of dampens the sound in here uh, it's not as echoey and it's just a little bit quieter of a ride the system sos buttons and an auto dimming mirror and home link buttons for your garage door security systems and lighting systems so i'm gonna go turn on the lights here on the vehicle and i'm going to turn off the lights in the picture studio so you can see just how bright these lights are and how effective they are in lighting up the front of the vehicle so just give me a second here while i turn off the lights in the picture studio okay so you can see just how bright those lights are you get the led running lights in the fenders the led running lights around the headlights and then the led fog lamps as well they are very bright they're a nice bright white light and you can see they illuminate very nicely in front of the vehicle and definitely applaud jeep for making the led lighting group standard on the rubicon saharas and uh, rubicon x's as a standard feature led tail lamps as well as well as the led license plate light love the design kind of an hourglass look to the tail lamps you always know which type of vehicle you're following with those tail lamps there. So what we're gonna do now, so I'm gonna turn on all the lights back in here, check out that original window sticker, and then we'll be all set and done with this video. Just give me one second here. So here is the original window sticker, Wrangler four-door Rubicon X 4x4. Once again, if you don't wanna follow along, it's linked in the description below. Earl clear coat is the color, black interior, Napa leather seats, 3.6 liter Pentastar V6, 8-speed automatic transmission, everything on your left there is your standard equipment. Feel free to pause that. Earl gray or Earl clear coat is the paint color, $595 option. 24Y is this package and it is a $13,000 option, gives you the Rubicon X package, which gives you those 456 gears. The... Uh, power passenger and driver's seat with the lumbar, the heated seats, heated steering wheel, Alpine premium sound connected travel and traffic services. Services, You connect five nav with the 12.3 touch screen, the 17 inch, by eight, 17 inch by eight inch machine wheels with the black pockets, Napa leather seats, body color Rubicon highlight flare or the fender flares, the 315 BF Goodrich tires, three piece hard top body color, uh, the four to one rock track heavy duty full time four wheel drive system, blind spot and cross path detection, remote start, automatic high beam, headlamp control, park sense, rear park assist system, integrated off road camera, rear window defrost, rear window wiper washer, hard top headliner by Mopar, no soft top, freedoms panels, storage bag, steel front bumper, steel rear bumper. So the, that's everything that comes with that 24Y Rubicon X package. The 8-speed automatic transmission is a $4,500 option that comes with adaptive cruise control with stop. The cold air intake, which we will look at, is $525. The doors off mirror kit is $195, and the performance satin black grille is $325. The worn winch is a $2,000 option or $1995, and your total price is $74,325. To get your summit price, or your total MSRP is $74,325. To get your summit price in the upper right-hand part of the screen, there's a link to this vehicle on our website. Click that, get all the pricing, rebates, and incentives on this particular Jeep. If it says sold in the title of this video, it's probably sold. If it doesn't say sold, it's a good chance it's still available. So uh, definitely pay attention to that. Three-year 36 bumper-to-bumper, five-year 60 powertrain. There are your miles per gallon. And that is figuring in the uh, Rubicon X 456 gears in there. Um, you can see smog rating it's a seven and fuel economy is three and it's not really rated for anything safety except the three-star rollover so let's check out that cold air intake it's really not that much not that impressive to see but i will show it to you so it's basically just that box right there there's the three six pentastar v6 and it basically just takes the air from right there um, to get that cold air to the engine 
but it does have a cool mountain design. I think that's Utah, the background there, and you get the Jeep driving around. So that is the cold air intake. And I'd like to thank everybody for checking out the video and let me know what you liked about the video, what you didn't like about the video, what you want me to do different. I'm always open up to new things. So definitely let me know in the comments below. And to see more pictures of this Jeep or one of our other 550 new and used cars, trucks, SUVs, minivans, and specifically Wranglers, go to that website right there, summitauto.com. Full pictures and descriptions of every single vehicle, all at summitauto.com. And if you want to check out more HD videos, you can go to youtube.com slash summitauto. Click the bell notifications, get updates on the videos I do each and every day. Stay current on our ever-changing and vast inventory at Summit Auto so you don't miss out on amazing rides like this one. In fact, in a second, you will see a link to subscribe to my YouTube channel in the upper left, a link to all the Wrangler videos I've ever done in the upper right, a link to how to take your doors off your JL Wrangler in the lower left, and a link to how to take your hardtop off your JL Wrangler in the lower right. Click those, check us out. Remember to like, subscribe, and share on the YouTube channel. Thank you so much for checking out the video, and uh, until our next one, have a great day.